Ruby and I grew up in Patch, an island just off the coast of Vale. Our parents were huntsmen. Our dad taught at Signal, and our mom would take on missions around the kingdom. Her name was Summer Rose, and she was like, super mom, baker of cookies and slayer of giant monsters. And then, one day she left for a mission and never came back. It was tough. Ruby was really torn up, but I think she was still too young to really get what was going on, you know? And my dad just kind of shut down. It wasn't long before I learned why. Summer wasn't the first love he'd lost. She was the second. The first was my mom. He wouldn't tell me everything, but I learned that the two of them had been on a team together with Summer and Crow, and that she'd left me with him just after I was born. No one had seen her since. Why did she leave you? <sighs> that question. Why? I didn't know the answer, but I was determined to find out. It was all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, one day, I found something. What I thought was a clue that could lead me to answers. Or maybe even my mother. I waited for Dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, and headed out. I must have walked for hours. I had cuts and bruises, was totally exhausted, but I wasn't gonna let anything stop me. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them. Those burning red eyes. There we were, a toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help. We might as well have been served on a silver platter. But, as luck would have it, our uncle showed up just in time. My stubbornness should have gotten us killed that night. Yang. the general? Hey, I know everybody to some extent. Remember, you're talking to a member of the coolest team to ever graduate Beacon. Ah, <sighs> Team Stark. That's when I met your parents. We were pretty well known back in the day. Well known for crummy fashion sense. Hey, we looked good. And I have a number of inappropriate stories that'll back that up. But I'll save those for when you're older. I saw my mom. I, I was in a lot of trouble. Took a pretty hard hit. But when I came to, the person attacking me was gone. And I thought I saw... her. Her sword. Like the one in you and Dad's old picture. <laughs> you're not crazy, Yang. That was your mom, all right. Let me guess. She didn't say a word, did she? How did you know that? I don't see my sister very often, but she does try to keep in touch whenever it suits her. Wait, you mean you talked to her? That was real? Yeah, she found me. Had a tip for my most recent assignment and wanted me to give you a message. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I was trying to wait for the right time, and this sure ain't it. But I guess you deserve to know. She wanted me to tell you that she saved you once, but you shouldn't expect that kindness again. 
Raven's got an interesting way of looking at the world that I don't particularly agree with. And she's dangerous. But you're a tough egg, kiddo. Shouldn't let this tournament thing get you down. You had a slip up. Sometimes bad things just happen. I say it's time you move on. Move on to what? Well, Raven let some info slip before she took off. If you ever want to track her down, I think I might be able to help. This is why I will focus all of my power to snuff it out. How does it feel, knowing that all of your time and effort has been for nothing? I'm home! Hey, Dad. Guess what came in today? What? I can't wait for you to try this. Well? It's for me? For you and you only. Brand new, state-of-the-art Atlas tech. You know, I thought I was gonna have to pull some strings, call in a few favors, but you earned this one all on your own, kiddo. Huh? Before I could even talk to him, General Ironwood already had one of his top scientists working on this. For you. He wanted me to tell you that you fought admirably. You should be proud of yourself. Well, you gonna try it on? I, uh... I'm not feeling too great right now. Maybe later? Well, all right. Thanks, Dad. Hello, brother. Raven. <laughs> so, what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can, but you're not. How about we get on with it? Unless you plan on keeping these coming. Does she have it? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not... Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he has. <laughs> I'm serious! Once you take damage, you can dish it back twice as hard, but that doesn't make you invincible. It's great when you're in a bind, but what happens if you miss? What happens if they're stronger? What then? Now you're just weak and tired. You've always been one to burn brighter than everyone else, whether it was with your smile or, well, I remember your first haircut. <laughs> but you gotta keep your emotions in check. Keep a level head and think before you act. Your semblance is a great fallback, but you can't let yourself rely on it. It won't always save you, obviously. You definitely have your mom's stubbornness. Oh, so now we could talk about her? Well, 
As I have been informed, you're an adult now, remember? Well, sorry I remind you of her. Don't be. Raven was great in so many ways. Her strength, her ambition, her dedication to whatever cause she thought was worth fighting for. I'm proud of how much of her I see in you. But I'm glad I don't see all of her in you. Why? <sighs> Your mother was a complicated woman. Like everybody, she had her faults, but those faults are what tore our team apart. And they did a real number on our family. You both act like the easiest way to tackle an obstacle is through it. That strength is all that matters in a fight. But if you just take a second look, then maybe you see there's a way around as well. saying that you were ready. Oh yeah? You gonna try and stop me? <laughs> no. I think I'm still too sore after our last fight. I just wanted a better goodbye than a letter. And I also have a question for you. Where are you going? What do you mean? Well, despite asking him numerous times not to, I know that Crow told you where your mother's been at these days. I know how much you want to see her. I've stopped you in the past, and I won't anymore. And we both read the note. We know your sister is headed to Mistral. So, where? Are you going? So, what brings you around these parts? Thanks. And I'm, uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Ray. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. <clears throat> hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? I heard you're looking for someone. I'll go up ahead and make sure the coast is clear. I can't believe you were dumb enough to let me lead you here. Is this everyone? <laughs> yes, little lady. This is it. Well, unless you count the whole rest of the camp back that way. That way? Huh? Yes. That way. Good to know. Thanks. Now to pay me back for this tooth, we're gonna take your bike, and you're gonna take your lumps. <laughs> you got the jump on me last time, sweetheart. You really ought to think twice about fighting all... <laughs> all right. Get her!
are you? It doesn't even matter. When Raven finds out what you did, you're dead. Possibly, but I doubt it. I'm her daughter, after all. I'm dead. Mom. Yang. So, after all this time, you finally decided to visit me. You know that I searched for you. I spent years looking for you. And you found me. You were patient, determined, and strong enough to make your dream a reality. Well done, Yang. But did you have to be so rough with my men? I didn't want a fight. They started it. Well, you certainly finished it. Right. I'm sure this is all very overwhelming, but I must admit that you've proven yourself. So any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. You can stay with us tonight. I'll even have the cooks whip up something for you. That's not why I'm here. What was that? I'm not here for you. Ruby is somewhere in Mistral. She's with Crow and she's going to need my help. I just need you to take me to her. And why would I do that? Because we're family. Family. Only coming around when they need something. I have to say I'm disappointed. After all, you found me, didn't you? Why not take that drive and use it to find your little sister if she really means that much to you? Because you're going to save me time. Ruby was heading to Mistral, but there's no guarantee she's made it there. Looking for her in Anima could take ages. But Dad told me how your semblance works. Time. You could bond to certain people. And when you do, you could create a portal that takes you straight to them. You've got one for Dad, one for me, and you've got one for Crow. He promised me he'd watch out for Ruby before he left, and I trust him. So, make a portal to my uncle and sister, and I'll be on my way. You know, it takes real strength to march in here and demand such a favor of me. I've got to say, I'm impressed. It's very noble to want to help out your sister. But if she's with Crow, then she's already a lost cause. What does that mean? You don't want to get mixed up in all of that, Yang. Ozpin is not the man you think he is, and Crow is a fool for trusting him. I would know. I trusted him once, too. I don't care what you think. Your choice is your own. All I'm suggesting is that instead of getting wrapped up in something too big for you, for any of us, that maybe you take a moment to wonder if you're already where you belong. Save your breath. You could spout off whatever you want, but nothing is going to keep me from my sister. Well, aren't you stubborn? I get it from my mom. Yang... Are you okay? I'll be fine once we could get her to take us to Ruby. It's okay if you're not okay. You didn't believe what she said, right? I... of course not. Well, not all of it. It was crazy. We have dust, semblances, but I mean, there's no such thing as magic. A raven? I've seen that bird before. Maybe it belongs to your mom?
How did you do that? Well, I could explain it to you. Or you could ask your uncle. You're letting us go? I'm giving you a choice. Stay here with me, and I'll answer all of your questions and more. We can have a fresh start. Or you can go back to Crow and join Ozpin's impossible war against Salem. And meet the same fate as so many others. But can you really go back to trusting someone that's kept so much from you? All I care about is making sure my sister is safe. If you side with your uncle, I may not be as kind the next time we meet. You aren't kind this time either. I know. This isn't right. I get one or two of them, but all of them? <sighs> Raven. I warned you, Yang. I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. So you can believe me when I say this wasn't personal. You opened the vault. Thanks to the chaos you and your friends caused upstairs. I knew you could handle it. You're my daughter, after all. Crow and Oz told me how the maiden powers were transferred. The girl you found. She would have had to have trusted you if you were in her final thoughts. Cared about you a lot. I'm sure they told you plenty, and you just sat and obeyed. No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. So tell me, what happened to the last Spring Maiden? Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she never learned. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did... It wasn't personal. It was mercy. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Or are you a survivor? Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? It's not that simple. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. The choices I've had to make. You're right. I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. She was troubled and complicated, but she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. Did you kill her too? 
I've stared death in the face over and over again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others won't. Oh, shut up! You don't know the first thing about strength. You turn your back on people. You run away when things get too hard. You put others at harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who do you think you are lecturing me? Standing there shaking like a scared little girl. Yeah, I'm scared, but I'm still standing here. I'm not like you. I won't run, which is why you're going to give me the relic. And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem. And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after me. And I'll be standing there waiting for her. You don't want to do this, Yang. Nope. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I... I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too.